In the world of sports, Steven Gerrard is a name that needs no introduction. The former Liverpool captain and England midfielder is widely regarded as one of the greatest players of his generation. However, Gerrard's name has recently been linked to a much darker world, that of organized crime. Specifically, it has been alleged that Gerrard has had links to the Kinahan Cartel, one of Ireland's most notorious criminal organizations. In this video, we will delve into the details of this shocking allegation and explore the evidence or lack thereof behind it. Let's begin. The Liam, Gerard, and the Long Lost Link From 1998 to 2015, Gerard played for Liverpool and secured nine titles, including the UEFA Champions League, two FA Cups, and three League Cups. In addition, he captained the England football team and earned 114 caps. In 2018, he led Rangers to their first Scottish Premiership League title in a decade, and in November 2021, he was named the manager of Aston Villa. On the other hand, Liam Byrne, a known criminal, is affiliated with the Kinahan cartel and is closely associated with its leader, Daniel Kinahan. David Byrne, Byrne's brother and a drug dealer, was killed in the Regency Hotel massacre in February 2016. In 2019, Byrne fled Ireland after the Criminal Assets Bureau seized millions of euros of his assets. The cab also confiscated his Raleigh Square home in Crumlin and numerous high-powered vehicles, jewelry, and bank accounts. After his brother-in-law, Thomas Bomber Cavanaugh, was imprisoned for possessing a stun gun, Byrne became Daniel Kinahan's right-hand man in the UK. Byrne had moved to Birmingham's affluent Tamworth neighborhood following the death of his brother David at the Regency Hotel and the seizure of his assets by the cab. When Kavanaugh was arrested for drug importation, he put Byrne in charge of his criminal network. However, according to sources, Byrne became increasingly reclusive and was afraid that he would meet the same fate as his brother at the hands of rival gangs. In a separate incident, Byrne's son Lee, who has no connection to organized crime, was in court in Liverpool earlier this year after crashing his BMW car worth 80,000 euros on the motorway. Following the incident, Merseyside police issued an official warning for careless driving. Lee, who lives in Formby, was given a TOR for the incident on the westbound carriage of the M62 between St. Helens and Warrington in the early hours of January 31 and was uninjured. As per recent events, Stephen Gerrard spends time with crime boss Liam Byrne's father, Jaws, in Dublin. Sources have revealed that Stephen Gerrard has been spending time in Dublin with James Jaws Byrne, a convicted fraudster and the grandfather of Liam Byrne's son, Lee. Liam Byrne is the boss of the notorious Kinahan Cartel, which has been linked to organized crime in Ireland. Gerard's visit to Dublin also included a stop at UFC star Conor McGregor's pub, the Black Forge Inn. Jaws was named in high court proceedings taken by the Criminal Assets Bureau and later applied to the high court seeking the return of a Rolex Oyster perpetual watch worth 35,000 euros. Additionally, Jaws' wife, Sadie Byrne, rejected claims by the cab that an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak watch belonging to her late son, David Byrne, and a Lexus Jeep were proceeds of crime. In recent days, Gerard has been photographed in the company of Nathan Biggie Little, a foot soldier for the Kinahan cartel, which has raised concerns about Gerard's connections to organized crime. In addition, the Liverpool legend's daughter, Lily Ella, 18, is currently dating Lee Byrne, further fueling speculation about Gerard's ties to the Byrne family and the Kinahan cartel. According to the Criminal Assets Bureau in the High Court, Nathan Biggie Little, a 24-year-old Dubliner from Drimna, has been identified as a low-level member of the Byrne Organized Crime Group. Little is a close friend of Liam Byrne's son, Lee, who is currently dating Stephen Gerard's daughter, Lily Ella. Gerard has also been spotted in the company of Liam Byrne's son, who was named as the leader of an organized crime gang in the High Court. Byrne is known to be the number two to Daniel Kinahan, the notorious mob boss, and is believed to run the UK branch of the Kinahan cartel. However, these recent developments have raised concerns about Gerard's connections to the Byrne family and the Kinahan cartel. Last year, a video circulated on social media showing the former Aston Villa manager with Lee's gangster father. In the video, Gerard invited the man to watch a match, and Byrne offered to set up a dinner between the fan and Gerard in his home. You pick a date you want, and I'll get the lads in Dublin to bring you over. Come around my house, and Stevie is going to come around and have some dinner with you, Byrne is heard saying. 
Despite these interactions, no evidence is currently linking Gerard to any criminal activity. Liam Byrne, who was named as the leader of the Byrne Organized Crime Group in Dublin's High Court, is believed to be the effective leader of the Kinahan Cartel in the UK. He has taken over from mobster Thomas Bomber Kavanaugh as the number two in the Kinahan hierarchy and heads the cartel's operations in transporting drugs across the UK and Ireland. Despite being pursued by the Criminal Assets Bureau, Byrne enjoys relative freedom while Kinahan is reportedly moving between countries to avoid capture. Byrne's actions mirror those of Daniel Kinahan, who attempted to launder his image through the sport of boxing. Kinahan, who co-founded boxing firm MTK Global, was often seen with two-time heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, proudly boasting about his abilities in managing boxers and arranging fights. However, Kinahan's strategy failed, and he was sanctioned by the U.S. government and UAE authorities earlier this year, effectively ending his career in the world of boxing. The Recent Meetup of Gerard and Liam Last year, pictures emerged of Burns smiling at the Champions League final in Paris, despite his brother-in-law's recent 21-year jail sentence for conspiring to import 36 million euros worth of drugs into the UK. Like Kinahan, Byrne continues to rub shoulders with prominent sporting figures, including Steven Gerrard. However, Gerrard, his daughter Lily Ella, and her boyfriend Lee Byrne have no involvement in organized crime. Recently, a video surfaced on social media featuring Lee's gangster father with former Aston Villa manager Steven Gerrard. The video shows Gerard inviting the man to watch a match while joking with him. Towards the end of the video, Liam Byrne, the leader of the Byrne Organized Crime Group and considered to be the de facto leader of the Kinahan Cartel in the UK, offers to set up a dinner between the fan and Gerard in his home. Byrne says, you pick a date you want and I'll get the lads in Dublin to bring you over. Come around my house and Stevie is going to come around and have some dinner with you. Liam Byrne's position as leader of the Byrne Organized Crime Group has been confirmed by Dublin's High Court and is believed to have taken over from Thomas Bomber Kavanaugh as the number two in the Kinahan Cartel. Despite fleeing Ireland after his criminal empire worth two million euros was taken away by the cab, Liam Byrne has been seen rubbing shoulders with prominent sporting figures. In a similar move to mob boss Daniel Kinahan, who attempted to wash his image through the sport of boxing, Byrne has been acting brazenly. Kinahan co-founded the boxing firm MTK Global and regularly appeared with the likes of Tyson Fury, boasting about his abilities in managing boxers and arranging fights. However, Kinahan's strategy wore thin as he was sanctioned by the US government and UAE authorities, effectively ending his career in the world of boxing. Last year, Pictures emerged of Byrne smiling for a photo at the Champions League final in Paris, showing that he appears to have no worries despite being named the leader of the Byrne Organized Crime Group by Dublin's High Court and believed to be the de facto leader of the Kinahan Cartel in the UK. What do you think about this shocking link between Gerard and the Kinahan Cartel? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe to never miss an update. Never miss an update.